Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. In the past, I have successfully made a number of gun barrels out of DOM tubing, but what about plumbing pipe? You know, I don't think there can be any doubt that, at best, plumbing pipe would be an inferior material for barrel making. Uh, it's a much softer steel than what DOM tubing is made out of. In fact, uh, as mild steels go, I don't think you can get much milder than what uh, common iron pipe is made out of. Uh, it's also a type of welded pipe, so you have that seam weld to introduce potential weaknesses as well. And the wall thickness is not all that thick either. Nevertheless, in engineering, sometimes it is informative to know just how poorly you can make something and still have it be functional. And so as kind of an academic engineering exercise, I thought it would be interesting to take this piece of common plumbing pipe, which happens to be approximately 38 caliber, and we'll just cut off one end of it, weld a little bit of all thread onto it so that I can install it in the Utah pistol, and we will rifle the barrel and chamber it for 9mm and see what it's capable of. Well, for whatever it's worth, here is our completed 9mm plumbing pipe barrel. Let's take it out and test fire it, shall we? Well, now that we know it won't blow up, let's see if it's accurate enough to punch a few more holes in that card that my in-laws sent us to use for a target. Well, strictly speaking, it worked. Uh, it wasn't particularly accurate. Now, part of that problem is just shooter error because I don't have any sights on this gun, and so I'm just trying to line up the top corner of this coupling nut and use that as a sight reference, and that affords pretty limited precision at best. Uh, nevertheless, if we look at the holes that I did get on paper, we can see that a lot of the bullets are keyholing. 
which doesn't entirely surprise me because, uh, as I said, the bore diameter of this tubing is a little bit of a loose fit for a 38 caliber projectile. Uh, and so, you know, if you have a loose fit between the bullet and the barrel, it's not really surprising that you would run into stability issues uh, and get keyholing bullets, which in turn uh, have a detrimental effect on accuracy. I suppose that if you developed a custom 39 caliber cartridge or something, uh, you might be able to get better accuracy out of something like this. But if you were going to go to that much trouble in a gun design, it'd probably be well worth your while to make your barrel out of something a little better quality than plumbing pipe. So I think this concludes our little experiment for the day. Thank you for watching the At Home Show.